Hello kids, Shubha Mangalam at Little Scholar High School. Myself, Mrs. Priscilla, taking class 3 English. In this session, we are going to learn about topic 4, that is nouns, number. In the previous sessions, we have seen about uh, nouns, what are nouns, what are the different types of nouns, etc. Now, we are going to learn about nouns and how they are used with numbers. Maybe one or more than one numbers we are going to see. Now, uh, you might have heard of the words singular and plural. Yes or no? Singular means uh, one. Maybe uh, one person, one animal, one place, one thing. Isn't it? Plural means more than one. It may be two or three or ten or hundred or thousands also. So the nouns which are, there are certain nouns which are used for uh, singular form and there are ones which are used for plural forms. Now if you look in your textbook, this uh, chapter we have in page number 24. Page number 24 of your English grammar textbook. Now if you see, uh, let's get started. There are uh, three things you have to write there. Look at the picture and answer the questions in one word. We will write them here. Where do you think the boy is? You, can you see the picture children? There is a boy looking from uh, something towards something. We are going to answer what he is doing. Where do you think the boy is? He is on the ground. G-R-O-U-N-D. And the second one, what is the bright object in the sky? Can you see the bright object in the sky? What is it? It is moon. Right there, moon. M-O-O-N, moon. What are the smaller objects in the sky? They are the stars. So right here. Stars, S-T-A-R-S, -S. stars. Did you write children? First one, ground. Second, moon. Third, stars. Done? Okay. Now look at the pictures given there. There are few pictures uh, like a toy, then toys, dog, dogs, horse, horses. Box and boxes. Yes or no? So these are the things what I am saying. There are certain things like one dog, one toy you have, one dog, one horse, one box. More than one, we call them as two toy. No, right? Toys. Plural. Toys, dogs, horses, boxes, etc. Now in this chapter, we are going to learn the nouns, how they are formed. Singular and plural. Some are by changing the entire spelling, some are formed by adding some letters, some are formed by removing certain letters. So, we are going to learn how they are formed now. You may know that nouns can show how many people, places, animals and things there are. If I say toy, it's only one toy. So, nouns will show us how many things are there. Or as if I say... Uh, Raju. How many people? How many children or how many people? Only one. Isn't it? So they will show how many they are. Maybe it's a people or places or animals or things. The words toy, dog, horse and box stand for one thing. They are singular nouns. The words toys, dogs, horses, boxes stand for more than one thing, they are plural nouns. Clear yeah, children? Okay. Nouns that stand for a single person, place, animal or thing are said to be singular in number. Singular means only one thing. The nouns which say about uh, one thing or one person or one place or one animal, we call it as singular Noun. 
nouns that stand for more than one person, place, animal and thing are said to be plural in number. You know what are singular? So these nouns are also said to be singular in number and plural in number. Clear children? Now in page 25, we have the uh, nouns, how they can be changed from singular to plural. We can change the nouns from singular form to plural form in seven different ways. There is one more way that we will learn later. But there are seven main ways how we can change the singular noun into plural noun. See here children, for example, first method is there are some words which can uh, just one letter S can be added to those words. For example, mat, M-A-T, mat, we can plus S, add S, that's it. M-A-T, S, that means mat, M-A-T, S. Again, girl, G-I-R-L, plus S, G-I-R-L, plus S, G-I-R-L-S. Just we are adding plus S, no removal of any letter from this or no more changes. Just for that entire word, add S. That's it. B-O-Y, boy, add S, B-O-Y-S, boys. Here, this is the first, first method of changing singular noun into Plural noun. Girl is one girl. Singular. Girls more than one. Plural. Isn't it? Now the second method is plus ES for that word which is having O. You see here children? H-E-R-O. P-O-T-A-T-O. -T -T ending letter is O. For those ending letters of O, what we have to do? Add ES. For the words which have the last letter as O, we are not going to remove that O. For that, we are going to add ES. For example, H-E-R-O, hero. H-E-R-O, we are going to add ES. E-S, heroes. We cannot write, just write H-E-R-O-S. We should write E-S. Here, potato also, you see. P-O-T-A-T-O. -T -T Last letter is O. For such words, we will add E-S. Without removing any other letter, we will just add E-S. See, P-O-T-A-T-O, E-S. Potatoes, tomato. Wherever the uh, word comes with the uh, last letter as O, we will use mango, E-S. Mangoes, mosquito. Last letter is O, isn't it? Mosquitoes. So like uh, buffalo. Last letter B U W F A L O. Last letter is O. So we will just add E S. Buffaloes. This is the second method. Now the third method is the letters, uh, the words which have the last letter as Y. For these letters, that Y we will remove and add I E S. Minus Y means remove Y plus IES. Add IES. Clear children? Third method for the let words which have the last letter as Y. We have to remove that Y and add IES. See here? B A B Y. This Y remove off and add IES. B A B I E S. Babies. Not B A B Y E S children. Y you should remove and add I E S. Clear? The same as story. S T O R Y. Last letter is Y. So remove that Y and add I E S. S T O R I E S. Stories. Clear? This is the third method. Now the fourth method. There are some words which have the last letter F. For those words, we have to remove the F and add V-E-S. For some words, the last before letter is F. So you have to remove that F and the next letter also. For example, you see here first one, leaf, L-E-A-F. Last letter F. 
So F we will remove and write, sorry, and write V E S L E A V E S leaves. Done. Now see the next one K N I F E. After F we have E also. Here only F we had. So we removed the F and wrote V E S. Now those who have the letter after F also. That letter also we should remove. Now after F we have E. So both the letters we should remove and add V E S. Clear? K N I F E knife. K N I V E S knives. Clear children? I like that we have to uh, change for both which have F and which have F E at the end. We have to remove them and add. V E S. Clear? Now this is the fourth method. Now the fifth method. Of, these are all singulars. Leaf singular, knife singular. Your mad girl, boy, hero, potato, boy, baby, story. These are all the singular forms. We are changing into plural forms. For that four methods we have seen. Now the fifth method is. There are some uh, words. See. Here uh, we have already seen there are some words which have the last letter as F. We have to remove that F and add V E S. But there are some words which also have last letter as F. But we will not remove that F and add V E S. Clear children. Why this you will learn in the higher sections. For the time being you just uh, understand that all the words which have F at the end. Or the last letter as F will not be changed into V E S. Some letters are there, some words are there which have the last letter F, but still we will use S beside it. That's it. We are not going to remove that F and add V E S to make it as plural form. Like chief, C H I E F, P R O O F. Now these are all children. Um. Just for information I am saying. Before F. If there is a vowel. You know what are vowels? A, E, I, O, U. Isn't it? Now before the F. If there are vowels. We are not going to remove that F and add V, E, S. For example. You see here. Uh, e, F. O, F. So for this. We are not going to remove. We will just write off S. S. Chiefs. Proofs. Clear? Next one. Sixth method is. Uh, the words which have. Double S. S. SH. CH. X. At the end. Any of these at the end. We are going to write. Yes. Add yes. The words which have S. SH. SS. C, H, X, all these letters, if they are at the end of the word, for such words, we will add E, S. For example, see here, class, C, L, A, double S, double S. So, what are we going to do? Not going to remove anything. For the entire word, we are going to add E, S. C, L, A, double S, E, S, classes. Clear? Now see uh, here church. C-H-U-R-C-H. C-H. So the last words are letters are C-H. So we are not going to remove anything from the word. We are just adding E-S. C-H-U-R-C-H. E-S. Churches. Clear. Again uh, we have one more for S-H bush. B-U-S-H bush. Singular. For plural B-U-S-H bush. E S. S H is there. No need to remove anything. For all these five types of words, we are not going to remove anything. Just add E S. B U S H E S. Bushes. Next, you have box with the letter X at the end. B O X. Box. B O X. E S. Boxes. No removal of any letter. Just add E S. Uh, next we have uh, CH we have seen isn't it? Uh, church, watch and one more is given in your book uh, that is uh, bench. 
ES, just adding ES for the benches. Clear? And the seventh method is, there are some words for that we are going to see that it ends with EN. Child, children, R we are adding and then EN. End which we are going to see whether it is having EN. That becomes the plural form. Ox, oxen. Like that we will use. And apart from these seven methods, there are some words which will not follow any of these methods. They have their own methods. Like for example, man, M-A-N, man, singular, plural, M-A-N-S, do we say? M-A-N-E-S, do we say? Or uh, adding uh, like your V-E-S, are we going to do? No. That man, it becomes men for plural. The same way for women, women. M-A-N, M-E-N. And even we have uh, foot, tooth, singular. Plural, teeth, feet. So like that, uh, they change on their own. They will not follow any of these rules. Uh, the words like uh, man, men, women, uh, women, women, foot, feet, tooth, teeth, goose, geese, mouse, mice. So these are, uh, apart from these seven methods, these are of different kind. Clear about this children? Okay. Now we'll see about countable and uncountable nouns. Countable nouns means which can be counted. And these countable nouns, these are all the countable nouns actually. Whatever we have discussed now are countable nouns. They can be counted. Counted means uh, we can number them as 1 or 10 or lakhs or millions, but we can count them. Okay, they are called as countable numbers. These countable numbers may be of singular form or plurals also. Countables are the nouns which can be counted and these countable nouns can be singular or plural. Both they will be. In both the forms they are found. And uncountable nouns means which we cannot count. And they will not be having any uh, plural form like water, milk. It's singular only. Can we count milk? How many drops of milk can we say? We will say liter of milk, but we are not going to go, we're not counting the drops in the milk. Waters we will not say. Milks we will not say. Isn't it? We shouldn't say. It's counted as the singular form only. They are called as uncountable nouns. Nouns which cannot be counted are called uncountable nouns and they exist only in singular form. They will not exist in the plural form. Clear children? Uh, like milk, meat, bread, water, sugar. These are all singulars only, isn't it? Sugars do we say? Meats, breads. Loaves of bread we will say. As I said, liters of milk or gallons of milk or cages of... Uh, it's unit of measurement children. Don't get confused. Units of measurement is different and countables are different. One rice grain or one sugar grain. We will not... One drop of uh, milk. We will not uh, uh, use... Uh, grain we will be using. But as a whole, we will not just... Use any of these methods and write S for meats or as write ES for milks and all, isn't it? So they are all called as uncountables. Nouns which cannot be counted are called as uncountables and they exist only in singular form. They do not exist in the plural form. Clear about these two types, children? Countable nouns, uncountable nouns. Countable nouns are the nouns which can be counted and they are in the two forms, singular form and plural form. Uncountable nouns are the nouns which cannot be counted and they exist only in the singular form. They will not be in the plural form. Clear till here children? Just look into your book of page number 26. Countable and uncountable nouns. Read these sentences. Chetan has... One bat. 
Swami has two footballs. Preeti has a cat. Rayma has two rabbits. Now here we have the names of four people and uh, four things also. Uh, two animals and two things are also there. See, when I am saying only, I am using the number, isn't it? Four people. We can count them. Chetan, Swami, Preeti, Raima. Four. We counted. And what is Chetan having? Bat. How many bats? One bat. We can count. Uh, Swami is having two footballs. Plural. Preeti is having a cat. One cat. Raima is having two rabbits. So, we are able to count the four the children. Chetan, Swami, Preeti, Rema, and what they are having also we are able to count. He is having one bat, two footballs, one cat, two rabbits. We are able to count the rabbits, cat, football and bat also, isn't it? So these are all which can be counted. What I said, the nouns which can be counted are called as countable nouns and they can be in the singular form and also plural form. Now, these four children, singular only. Chetan means one boy only. Isn't it? Not two or more boys. Rayma, one girl. Preeti, one girl. Swami, one boy. So, we are able to count them. And they are in the singular form as well as in the plural form like footballs and uh, rabbits. So, countable nouns are the nouns which can be counted. And they are, they have singular and plural forms. Clear? Now see the next one. Examples. Uh, chairs, table, star, girls and all. This is for countable nouns. Next. Now read these sentences. We have to buy milk in the evening. There is smoke coming out of the window. May I borrow some sugar from you? Now the words milk, smoke, Sugar, if you see, they don't have any plural form. Isn't it? Milks, smokes, sugars. No, we are not going to use it because they cannot be counted. Milk, can you separate and count? One, one, one drop like that? No. Smoke, can you separate? One, th one, one piece like that and count? No. Sugars also, right? grains, one, one, one can be count. These are all uncountables. Nouns which cannot be counted are called as uncountable nouns. And these uncountable nouns do not have the plural form. They have only singular form. Clear children? Uh, nouns which cannot be counted and do not have plural forms are called uncountable nouns. Examples, milk, meat, bread, water, sugar. Clear till here? Nouns, we can divide them based on the counting capacity as two countables and uncountable nouns. Nouns which can be counted are called as countable nouns and they have both the singular and plural forms. Nouns that cannot be counted are called as uncountable nouns and they do not have the plural form. Clear till here children? Okay. Now in the next session, we will discuss about uh, the exercises. Clear till here? I want you all to read till here so that it will be easy for us to do the exercises part. Okay? So the Sakshi is read from page number 24 to 26. Clear children? Page number 24 to 26. That is your